Hello viewers, I am Dr. B. Sudhakar, Director, Department of MBA, Hindustan College of Arts and Science, Kalbator. Today, the topic of discussion is facility decisions and location planning in a supply chain. Introduction to supply chain. Supply chain management is the set of activities involved in the process of efficiently integrating the suppliers, manufacturers, warehouses, and stores. Supply chain distributes the products manufactured at the right quantities to the right locations and at the right time in order to minimize the total cost of the supply chain as well as satisfy the service level requirements of each and every member in the supply chain to meet the expectation of the customer. The learning objectives of this module are to discuss the role of facility decisions in a supply chain, to understand the factors influencing network decisions in a supply chain, to discuss the framework for network design decisions in the supply chain, to discuss the various methods of location planning in a supply chain. The learning outcomes would be an, an understanding of the role of facility decisions in a supply chain, an understanding of the factors influencing the network decisions in a supply chain, an understanding of the framework for network design decisions in a supply chain, and to understand the different methods of location planning. Let us first understand the role of facility decision in supply chain. Supply chain facility decision deals with the process of identifying the location of manufacturing, storage, and transport related facilities of the supply chain and the allocation of the capacity of various members with their roles in the supply chain. It is also known as the supply chain network design decision. The network design affects all the members of the supply chain as well as the role of each facility. The decision is highly significant as it determines the flexibility of the supply chain in the current dynamic market condition. A facility location decision is capital intensive, which will impact the supply chain performance. A good facility decision will always help the supply chain to be responsive as well as be cost effective. Capacity allocation decisions to each facility of the supply chain will have a significant impact of its performance. When we allocate too much capacity to a particular location in a supply chain, it may result in underutilization of the facilities, which may result in higher cost. Similarly, when we allocate too little capacity to a particular location, it may result in poor responsiveness of the facility of the supply chain and it may increase the cost of logistics. From this, we can understand that allocation of supply sources and markets to facilities have a significant impact on the supply chain performance in meeting the customer demand. Hence, the facility decision in a supply chain will have a significant impact on its performance as they determine the supply chain configuration and the constraints in which the inventory, transportation and information can be used effectively in decrease the supply chain cost as well as increase the responsiveness of the supply chain. Let us now look into the factors which influence the facility network design decision. Network design decision plays a significant role in determining the distribution network for moving products from the supplier point to the customer point in the supply chain. It is the key driver of the overall profitability of a firm in the supply chain because it affects both the supply chain cost and the customer experience directly. Designing an appropriate distribution network will help us to achieve the supply chain objectives, that is, lower supply chain cost and high responsiveness. Strategic 
technological, infrastructural, competitive, macroeconomical, political, logistical, and operational factors influence the network design decision of the facilities in the supply chain. Now let us discuss each factor independently. Let us start with the strategic factors. A firm's competitive strategy has a significant impact on the facility network design decision in the supply chain. A company which focuses on the cost leadership can plan to find a lowest cost location for creating the manufacturing facility even if the location is far away from the markets they are serving. Similarly, a company which focuses on responsiveness to demand can plan to locate the facility closer to the market and can select a high cost location which may allow them to react quickly to the changing market needs. The facilities can be classified based on the possible strategic roles they play in a supply chain. An offshore facility which tends to be the low cost production facility for export production serves the role of being a low cost supply source for markets which are located outside the country. A facility where the cost of production is low for the global market plays as the source facility for the global network. This facility has the advantage of lowest production cost with the required infrastructure and skilled manpower. A facility is created in a particular place of a region where it gets the benefit of tax incentives, tariff benefits and local content requirement is known as a server facility of the region and supplies to the market. Tariff barriers and logistic cost to supply the region from elsewhere will be high and hence the facility serves the requirement of the region. Contributor facility is a regional production facility which focuses on product customization, process improvements, product modification and development to serve the market of that region. An outpost facility is a regional production facility which uses the local skills that may exist within the region to satisfy the market requirements. A facility that focuses on the development and process technologies, creating new products, processes and technologies for the entire network is known as the lead facility. Next, we look at the technological factors. New technologies have been emerging. This has resulted in a few high capacity production locations with economies of scale. If these facilities have lower fixed cost, then many facilities like the one planned and established to get the cost advantage to serve the market are done. But if the fixed cost of setting up these facilities is high, it is advisable to set up few facility locations which may serve the market. The impact of macroeconomic factors come next. Tariffs and tax incentives are important factors under this. Duties which have to be paid by a company when the products produced by them are moved to the market across the city, state or borders is known as tariffs. When the tariff is low in a country, the company sets up the facility to manufacture the products to serve the markets across the borders. But if the tariff is high in a country, companies set up manufacturing plants within the country to serve the local market to save on duties. Countries encourage firms to set up the manufacturing facility in specific areas by providing an incentive to them by the way of reduced taxes and lower tariffs. They expect those companies to focus on production for exporting the products. Similarly, exchange rate and demand risk have an influence on the location decision. Supply chains that serve the global market are affected by the fluctuation in exchange rates. This has a significant impact on the profits of the supply chain. Similarly, when there is an economic slowdown in the global market, it has an impact of Indian industries. The demand for the product reduces. 
companies which are highly flexible to the demand adjust the manufacturing facility to manage the situation when the demand increases flexible companies meet the demand with extra capacities they can create the next factor is political factor members of the supply chain prefer to locate their facilities in a country where the where it is investment friendly and have a well defined system for commerce and industry they also expect the policies of the government to be simple and clear with faster process of approving for setting up the location facility next comes the infrastructure factors availability of land with other factors of production like labor transport facility skilled manpower and local government support are important infrastructure factors affecting the facility network design decision one has to consider these factors and decide on locating the facility in that place competitive factors play an important role in identifying the best possible location competitive strategy their size and location are to be considered when designing the supply chain networks when co-location of the facility with the competitor benefits the company they locate themselves closer and get the benefit next factor is the customer response time when customers can wait for a longer response time the company can plan to have a few facility locations and can increase the capacity of the location whereas when a customer wants a faster response time the companies have to increase the required number of facilities in the network so to satisfy the customer requirement this results in increase in inventory cost in this edition we have discussed the importance of facilities decision in a supply chain and the factors affecting the facility network decision in the next edition we will discuss the impact of the network decision on supply chain cost and the framework for the facility decision network decision for a supply chain thank you